they're set and they're off and racing and they got them away to a very nice start over here. Kind of Blue was the first one to react. Masava began very well. Miraculous Man and Western Jack are behind them. Then Landing on the Moon, who's struggling to go with them in the early part. Hollywood Star Race is behind that with Yanaman and Gaetana. And there's about eight lengths first to last as they run through down towards the 800-metre mark. And it's Masava, the leader, by about a length and a half here from Kind of Blue in second. Western Jack is third. Miraculous Man up in fourth. Then came Hollywood Star in fifth position, giving the leader about five lengths start. Two lengths back to Yanaman. Behind that is landing on the moon, and the back marker is Gay Tana, racing eight or nine lengths off the leader. 500 metres left to go, and Masava's the one to grab here. Let it by two from Western Jack in second. In third is Kind of Blue, then Miraculous Man. In behind that came Hollywood Star, further back to Landing on the Moon, but Masava, definitely the one to catch with 300 metres left to go. Kind of Blue is running on. Miraculous Man switches to the inside. Then came Western Jack with 200 metres left to go. It's still Masava, Kind of Blue. These two from Miraculous Man down the inside. Kind of Blue and Miraculous Man take over. Here comes the line. Kind of Blue beat Miraculous Man. Third will go to Masava, then Hollywood Star, behind that Western Jack, then landing on the moon, further back to Yanaman and Gaetana. Good run from Kind of Blue today. She's out the maidens. This was her 10th career start. Well done to Drakenstein Stud, the winning breeder. She's out of that mere state blue. Quite a good family, that. She's taken a while to get her maiden certificate, but she's won it today. Yuse Ramsen riding really well at the moment. And just edging out Miraculous Man, who's run another good, honest race for us as the Clocking the Gallop Syndicate and Jared and Lawrence Werners. And he keeps on earning some money for the stable too. Well done to all concerned. It's kind of blue winning race number two. Welcome back to Fairview Race 2 on the card. Number 7, Kind of Blue from the Gavin Smith Stable. Yes, back in the winner's box, the Smith Stable this afternoon. Two from two, and Kind of Blue wins. I've got Joseph from the stable, and he's on behalf of Upper Lenny, collecting the 1,500 Rand from World Sports Betting. Another groom happy, and uh, Joseph's going to make sure that he gets his money. Well done, Joseph, and well done to Upper Lenny. Let's go to the winning jock. I thought a very good ride is a Ramson back in the box. I spoke to him just the other day as well. Things are on the up. Great for you at the moment, getting rides and getting chances. But uh, moderate field of runners here, based on the average merit rating of about 52 in the race. And I thought that uh, coming back from a bit of a break, Gavin did say the horses had a bit of a break, might just need, but uh, dug deep to win. Yeah, um, she was actually like knocking on the door and then she sort of just lost herself a little bit. But um, yeah, you know, she came back from a break now. We've been doing some work with her and trying to get her ready for this race. And I was actually surprised, you know, um, and yeah, I'm just thankful like, you know, everything went to plan. Uh, she hops out, she had like natural speed. Um, and yeah, in the straights, I just like let her unwind and she just kept on fighting on. But yeah, um, just big thanks to Mr. Smith and just thanks to the whole team and also thank you to the owners for the opportunity. Do you ride around for different guys um, every day? You go from, from stable to stable and try and do some work there to get rides? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, all over? Yeah, all over. Go to... Um, yeah, obviously, Mr. Smith's like, he supports me like almost every meeting. And then I get my rides from Mr. Nell and Mrs. Cotson. And, you know, uh, yeah, just trying. Um, yeah, I'm just grateful to be getting the opportunities lately. And yeah, hopefully it continues. It will, because you've got a great work ethic and it is being recognized out there. Well done to you, Jose. Thank you, appreciate it. Tremendous. Yes, hey, Ramsen in the winner's box. And here's Gavin Smith. He's back in the winner's box again. He was here a couple of times on Monday. So far, two out of two on the day. You'll be happy with that. And uh, we're going to ask Marilyn to come straight in as well with the Racehorse Owners Association membership of 15,000 Rand. So zoom in on that. It's a full membership, so you get 15. If it was half membership, you get the seven and a half. Marilyn, thanks so much. Well done. Yeah, Gavin, that's great for the owners as well. But um, looking at the form of this horse early on in his career, a lot of seconds, a lot of seconds and thirds and most likely a deserving winner in this type of field. You know, Neil, I've got to say, uh, well done to the filly because she, she's had her issues and she hasn't got the straightest of legs, but, my, she's got heart. Hey? And, 
you know, we gave her a break because she started feeling aches and pains all over and freshened her right up and backed right off of her and then just brought her back slowly. And, and she's enjoying the poly and, you know, the speed of the races. And, and I've got so great ride by Jose as well. And she came out running today. So obviously feeling well, enjoyed the break. I'm glad you touched on the legs because it was in my initial selection. But when I saw her go to post, I thought, oh, not the greatest action, but I wasn't aware of the not having the best legs and whatever. So she, she came back moving a lot better than she actually moved to post, in my opinion. Neil, 100%. She, she's quite offset. And, you know, when they're offset, like that, they put stress in other areas. Yeah. And, um, you know, she, she's a muscle-bound filly as well, so she takes time to warm up. So, obviously, when she started off going to start, she starts off stiff yes. until she warms up right through. And you say, try to do down at the, at the post. And what's uh, encouraging to see is when she came out the gates, she came out full of enthusiasm, yeah, you know. Yeah, she went. 100%. Yeah. So then she's feeling good in herself, you know. And uh, she takes her runs quite hard, but we, we, we know what to do with her now. She has some pet-up time after her race, and, and she freshens right up again. Just very well done to Solly. And to the RAO, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, a great incentive for the owners, an extra bonus. Massive. Then. Yeah. So uh, well done to all concerned. And your sponsor, Hollywood Bets. Thank you very much, Neil. All right, well done, Kevin. That's two out of two this afternoon. That's Kevin, that's Dean, that's Francie, and everybody involved at this table. Team Racing, the Smith Racing team at the moment, they're the team to follow. We do start the place accumulator on the local front. That's coming up in race three.